on it of a sort. But we'll get into it. So the there were 12, sorry, 13 different uh, categories in this one. 12 of them are for each a, an event that's in each month and then there was an, a bonus extra one. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. The first one is the Stroke of Midnight Nail Polish for New Year's Eve. It doesn't it's a teeny tiny bit lower than the line I marked, which I marked on the actual bottle. It's really, really hard to see. Um, now that it's starting to get down a bit, I might be able to mark it on the paper instead, which will make it easier. I have worn this a couple of times, um, but clearly it hasn't made enough progress to actually be noticeable. Second, for Valentine's, we had the French Kiss lip gloss from Medusa makeup. I've actually used this several times. Um, I'm wearing it today over the top of other stuff. It doesn't, kind of comes out of the tube like really thin, like not much product. Um, but it's nice enough. It's not super sticky or anything. It doesn't feel uncomfortable to wear. Um, yeah, but uh, it doesn't look any different to what it did at the start of the project at this stage. For St. Patrick's Day, I had the green end of this Max Factor Smoky Effect. I have used this maybe twice. Um, yeah, it doesn't look any different. <laughs> it, doesn't, it hasn't gone down enough to actually mark it, but I have used it a couple of times. Uh, for Easter, we have the Irresistible Chocolates Duo from Essence. I haven't actually touched it at all. For Cinco de Mayo, I initially had the Fierce and Tangy Colour Tattoo from Maybelline. I mixed this up multiple times. I mixed it up for like 20 minutes, but it's still kind of crumbly and it won't blend. And I basically got frustrated with it, so I decided I was going to declutter that one it's clearly not working properly and I brought in another one so I decided that I was going to replace it not just like get rid of it and not count that category because it was right at the start of the project so I decided to replace it with another color tattoo this one is in fuchsia fever and this one when I mixed it up it worked I don't know how long it's going to work for. I've used it a few times underneath um, purple eyeshadows. Um, yeah, so I don't know how long this one is going to work for. Um, if it looks a little weird, it's because I dabbed a brush into it. It's very hard for me to use my fingers to do that kind of stuff because I have such long nails and they just end up in the product. Um, but yeah, that one is a little bit better, but we'll see how long that one actually lasts. So yeah, I, re I basically I replaced product for product um, for that one. For flag time, flag day, I had the clay time loose bronzer. I haven't actually touched this, as same with the uh, essence one. The fourth of July, I had the cobalt and rose nail polish. I thought I was going to have to take this out of the project because I couldn't get the lid off of it. Um, I have used it once, but it hasn't really moved because I just used it as a top coat on a couple of other nails. Yeah, so, um, see how that one goes. For International Beer Day, I had the Improper Copper from Colour Tattoo, the pigment, another one that I haven't actually used. I haven't really been going for brown, kind of like eyeshadow looks. I've been going more for like purples and greens and blues. So um, there will be a period of time where I go more neutral so I can use that. Um, for how, uh, sorry, for Remembrance Day, I had Positive Energy from um, Nicole by OPI, which is a silver, and it has had a little tiny bit of movement. So it has moved down a little bit. I used it in a 
tutorial where I was stamping with it, um, when I was sponging with it, doing a gradient. When you do an ombre, you tend to use a lot more polish, so it's a way of using up polish. For Halloween, I had this black eyeliner from LA Colors, and I used it once, and then the second time I went to use it, what I was finding was that I was literally getting chunks of even see it, but I was getting chunks of dried eyeliner from inside it, not just on the edge at the top, but from inside it. And I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. And it kind of felt a little weird when I put it on my eyelids. So that one is um, decluttered. Um, and I, because again, it was really early. I decided to replace it with this one which I got from Dezo. This is the Princess Liquid Liner, and it's basically a very similar type of liner to that one. Um, but this one's going as well. Um, it does this weird, like there's still plenty of product and stuff in here, but when I put it on my eyelids, and I noticed this today, it literally runs and goes straight into my eye and then I end up with like a black stringy stuff in my eye. It's like really, really gross and it feels really, really weird. It doesn't set properly and it just smudges. But if you put too much on, like if you try to make a nice thick line that's properly opaque, you can literally feel it on your eyelids. It's like crunchy almost on the eyelids. It's just really, really weird and I really, really don't like it. So I am taking that one out as well. I am actually not going to replace it again. This is like the second one that I've put in for that. So I I don't have anything in for Halloween anymore. There's, there's no black thing in for Halloween anymore. Um, yeah. So I have finished one product, sort of. I just, yeah. Not having any luck with the black eyeliners, I can tell you that right now. So for Thanksgiving, I um, have Espresso from my uh, Lorac Pro Palette. Uh, I think I used it once, quite honestly. Uh, for Christmas, I had Tinsel from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, which is one here. I've used it once or twice, not really a lot, but I have used it once or twice. Um, and for Dutch King's Day, I have the Flash Pop-Up Gel Liner in orange. I actually haven't used this this month. So that is everything in my everyday is a holiday project pan update. Oh, again, we'll leave everybody linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!